Thomas Massimara for Fantasy Sports. If you're like me, you want authenticity, and uh, unfortunately, uh, most fantasy online sites do uh, a computer random lottery. Uh, I did that for many years, and this year I made the switch to manual lottery. The real deal, holy field. So, I looked online and basically it almost seemed like a NASA rocket launch. A lot of different models, more some more complex than others, and I'm a guy of simplicity. I think the simplest options are the best options. So, just to, if you ever wondered how to get this done without going through the rigmarole of, of trying to uh, rack your brain about how to get it done, I'm going to show you how to do it today. So, we'll start with the design. Um, basically, this is a water cooler, plastic water cooler. You can get this at any, I believe I got this at Walmart. Um, it's plastic. I think it was six dollars. Um, the lottery balls, you can get a pack for sit of six at pretty much any dollar store or whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, ping pong balls. Uh, what we, what I have done is I've actually took the ping pong balls and, and wrote uh, the owner's names on the balls as a way of identifying who it is when they pop up. Uh, this is a trash can and uh, this right here is a piece of PVC pipe with a coat hanger on the top so when the balls come up they hit the coat, coat hanger and they kind of hover there for a little bit. Um, uh, right here, this is a two and a half inch uh, saw hole. This is a hole saw right here. Basically, I took this hole saw, this is two and a half bit hole saw, and you just put it in there and you just go around it. And bam, you have your hole. I um, also did the same bit here on the top of the trash can. Um, and you may be seeing, what is this right here? This is actually my shock vac uh, extension. Um, and what I did with that is uh, I took the back of the trash can and I drilled another hole in there. Same, same bit, put it through there. And then I feed the hose which is attached to two pieces of uh, 4x4 that I screwed into the trash can there. I cut the 4x4, you can see the drill holes right here. And basically what I do is I put that in there and then I just unhook it like that. That's all I have to do. It's two pieces of nail wrapped around some tape. And I just have that. Now it doesn't have to be dead center because uh, that's the beauty of the system here. It doesn't have to be dead center. It just has to have air captured in one spot. So after that, and see here's the thing with this extension. I left that in because most shock vacs, you get three of these or two of these. You can buy this at Home Depot, um, which will just fit the extension of your shock vac. Just buy it. I think it's, $4.99 at Home Depot, you can get one of these. Um, I leave it in there. I don't even bother pulling it out because I'm never going to need it because I never needed an extra one before. So uh, I just sacrifice that one. So what I do is, once again, I just take the hose off because your shop vac's going to probably look like this, most of you guys. So you just take that off. You have your little nozzle here. You feed that through your hose there. And then you just connect that with this and bam you're in business it sits right back up then I took the cap of the shop vac I mean of the um, water cooler and I drilled another hole in there um, that's actually this bit right here that I use and this is a one and a half uh, hole saw bit put that in there so that's what basically the shop vac nozzle sits in 
like so. And sometimes, because of how I design this, sometimes it, it, it requires a touch of force. So. Ah. A medical hurry you can get from any dry cleaning business, right? Then I took some linesman pliers. See the linesman pliers got that teeth right there you can cut things with. Basically I just put it in there, cut it, cut my pieces, and then I was left with a long piece here that I wrapped around my PVC pipe. See that? Now the PVC pipe is a simple two inch hole um, now you might be saying, well this is two and a half, man. Well you're right, that's a two and a half. But what I did with this is, I took simple uh, weather stripping, wrapped it around the uh, PVC pipe to create a lip, and then took the uh, duct tape and wrapped it around there just to give it a nice uniform and also uh, capture the, uh, the uh, ball, the ping pong stopper. Then I take this, put it in there, and as you can see, it's it firmly sits in there, doesn't move at all, and when the ping pong balls come up, it'll usually hit this. Sometimes they fly out, so sometimes I have to adjust it back down again, um, but most of the time, they just stop right there, and then it gives you time to just to pull it off. And with that, you're pretty much done. Now, of course, I'm sure there's a lot of talented guys out there that probably have you better design ideas in mind, but this was the simple, simplest and most affordable. Um, I'd say all together the entire project was probably, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks, five dollars, five or six dollars for the water cooler jug, 75 cents for the PVC pipe, and then the trash can was probably anywhere between nine to ten dollars, and then buying the extra nozzle uh, for the shop vac, another five. I was fortunate enough, and I, and I encourage anybody that if you happen to have an old trash can lying around your garage, if it's rubber, Give it, a, give it a try, see if it'll fit in there. That's what I did with this. This was already laying around my house. Um, already had years and years of service. So I got this for nothing. So it, it worked out well for me. Um, and, and that's really to it. Uh, I will have a list of the, the items you'll need, including the parts in the description below. And uh, again, if you guys have any questions or you, you come across uh, a problem, let me know. I have uh, no problem uh, helping you out if I can. I'm not Bob Vila, but uh, <laughs> I might be able to point you in the right direction or maybe you'll help me with even a better design. So uh, guys, give it a whirl, give it a try. I used it the first time this year and as, as happy as I can be in my league, Alpha Fantasy Sports. I have Alpha Fantasy Sports League um, and this was the first year we used it and I think it was done very well. Also linked to the uh, lottery that I performed for my league, uh, you will see that link in the description below as well. Using this uh, and you'll also see the presentation and how I did it. Uh, as always, appreciate you guys giving me your time and uh, subscribe, share, follow and uh, Alpha Fantasy Sports signing off.